welcome to round three of Footy Wide. That's right, we're into the th third round. Still a few teams that haven't got a win. Still a few teams that haven't lost. So a few things going on. Let's have a look at last week's games first. Um, once again, I'm joined by the beautiful Melly. She's here to help us out. She's been very patient today. She's been a good girl, haven't you, Melly? Yeah? Yeah, speechless. All right, so let's get started. Uh, last week, tremendous game, a real attacking game. So Gods of Olympus, 502.5. Why well, we got 0.5s, who knows? Um, defeated Trust the Process, 429.5. Very disappointed on my behalf, because 429.5 would have beaten every other team. But still, I sit in zero and two. Gods of Olympus now sit at two and zero. Um, Sugar Daddies defeated uh, I'm Rolling, 373 to 307. Collie also undefeated, uh, still hasn't won a game, sorry. Top Guns, 379.5. Lost to Seek and Destroy, who remain undefeated, 386.5. Rangers Anonymous, 337.5. Defeated Maltese Falcons, who got smashed by injuries last week and bad selections, um, 259. Lowest score of the year so far, I believe. And finally, Renegades, 370. Defeated Sir Pickles, yum yum. All right, so this is all the team of the week. Full four was Ben Brown, who had 43 points. Tom Lynch was the half four at 78. Dustin Barton was the utility, 115.5. Tom Mitchell, once again, smashing it. 84 as a midfielder. With Jared Lyons, 77 um, as a follower. Ben McAvoy was the best ruckman at 51 points. Rory Laird, best halfback at 83. And finally, Clay Lowell got 54 as a tackler. So once again, let's just quickly look at the ladder from after two rounds. Got Delivers, Seek and Destroy, and Sugar Daddies all are uh, undefeated on two and zip. Followed by Top Guns, Renegades, Falcons, Rangers Anonymous, all one on one. And the teams who haven't won a game yet are Trust the Process, Sir Pickles Yum Yum, and I'm Rolling. So, let's get into the next round, round three. All right, so, so let's get into round three. Uh, first game, trust the process, yet to win a game versus Top Guns 1-1. One one. So far, Top Guns has had Pernalberry as a tackler, who got 53 points, great score as a tackler. And to date, two of my players have been useless. We'll get to that in a second. Let's look at it. full forwards, Ben Brown versus Jack Darling. Half forwards, Dangerfield versus Rewalt. Zorko's utility against Cornelio. So far, Zorko's done nothing after one quarter. Selwood's midfield against Nathan Jones. Jared Lyons, who's been an absolute gun so far this year against Callum Ward. Sandlands against big boy McAvoy. Um, Rance comes in at halfback to replace the suspended James Sicily. He's up against Bryce Gibbs, who started off his LA career pretty good. And once, as we've mentioned, Penelope's off D3 is a tackler. And Ebert, at the quarter time, hasn't got a tackle. Great. Um, so that's that game there. Who's going to win? Me. But I haven't started very well. <laughs> um, so let's move on to the second game now. Second game is Gods of Olympus, 2 and Zip versus Sir Pickles Yum Yum, 0 and 2. Um, quickly, look, quickly looking at the sides there, Gods of Olympus after 500 points last week, haven't really changed their side too much. In fact, it's probably the same side. Let's look at it. Garlett against Charlie Cameron. Cameron's kicked two goals a quarter time. Um, Tom Lynch uh, up against Jared Waite. Tom Lynch kicked eight last week. Uh, Dustin Martin's utility. He's up against Joey Kennedy. As Paul Rees likes to call him. Um, Gary Ablett, another th almost, I didn't think he got 30% last week, but still had a pretty good game. He's up against Kate Simpson, got 42 points last night. Jack McRae, good game last week, 31 possessions. He's up against Dylan Shields. Um, Sam Jacobs against Big Nick Nat, who is going to destroy uh, Ray Stanley in the ruck. I can't imagine what Nick Nat's going to get as a point, but he does share it with Fly Set, though, so who knows. So, Rory Led, uh, he's leading the league in, he's second behind Mitchell in possessions so far this year. He's at halfback against Luke Hodge, who's started not too bad, but not the best. And West Off, who's playing at the moment, he's a tackler against Ben Cunnington, who is also playing at the moment. Who's going to win that game? I believe one team's going to stand defeated, and one team's not going to win a game for that one. So let's look at the next game. Big game of the round. It is the match of the round. Two teams, two and zero. One of these, unless they draw, of course, one of these teams is going to lose their first game of the year. It's Second Destroy up against Sugar Daddy. Second Destroy is projected to get a better score, though. Uh, let's look at two LA players at full forward. That's Jenkins versus Betts. Half forwards, uh, Jay, uh, what's his name? Jesse Hogan, who's playing a bit up the ground a bit more this year. Similar to what Lance Franklin does. And Buddy's been killing him. He's averaging 72 as a half forward so far, which is a great score. Luke Parker, utility versus Robbie Gray, who has already kicked a goal today. 
Jack Stevens is a midfielder against Lockie Hunter. Mark Murphy got 51 points last night as a follower. He's up against Lockie Whitfield, who started the season off pretty well. These, they're actually in the ruck against each other as we speak. It's Max Gorn versus Todd Goldstein. So, yeah, it should be an interesting one, that one. And interesting choice. Shane Savage is a halfback against Jeremy Howe. Got 50 points last night as a halfback. And the tacklers are Clayton Oliver. Um, best, he's averaging 54 as a tackle, which is phenomenal. Against James Kelly. No, what's his name again? Josh Kelly, sorry. He was getting a tackler. So that's amazing how Josh... Yeah, interesting choice. But it's his team, they're both undefeated. I've won a game, so he's going to question that. So who's going to win that one? Oh, I'm going to go with Sugar. Sugar Daddy's to win. All right, welcome back. Melly, give the camera a wave. Hello. Anyway. Let's have a look at the next game. It's Renegades versus Rangers Anonymous. Both teams are sitting at one on one at the moment. Uh, the full forwards, Jack Gunston playing back up the forward line against Richmond. So Hawthorne should win, really. He's up against Taylor Walker, who's had his first game last week. He had a pretty good game. Um, half forwards, Jack Martin, interesting choice over over at, uh, well, playing at home in Fremantle for some reason. Um, against, we know why. Against Chad Wingarden, who hasn't really started today that well. Brody Grundy last night, 116 points for utility, had a fantastic game against Nat Fife, um, who should, I reckon, today is going to kill it. I've got him as my captain super coach. Um, next, midfielders is Swallow versus Tom Mitchell. Mitchell is almost averaging 100 points as a midfielder. Jesus. Um, Chalor got 41 points last night as a follower. He's up against Zach Merritt, who, in fairness, hasn't really started off the season that well, but he did not, you know, he did get the cut first round. Oh, apparently he didn't get the cut, sorry. Ruckman's Jared Witts up against Sandylands against Stefan Martin, who is destroying it at the moment. He's, I think he's already got 10 or 11 hit outs, so he's doing quite well. Um, halfbacks is Hurley versus Zaharakis. Um, he'll probably be fast into the Greek East, though. Who knows? And the tacklers, Cripps, very disappointing tack as a tackle last night. Only got 17 points as a tackler. Only got the one tackle for the game against Dan Butler. So that's that one there. So, um, Grundy got a fantastic score. And he's just got 174 already. But I don't know, I've got a feeling Rangers might get up on this one. So let's go to the next game. It's the last game of the season. It's I'm rolling. Yet to win a game against Maltese Falcons. Uh, Maltese Falcons projected to actually smash him, so we'll see that. Not really. Let's we'll see what happens. So Dan Menzel was full forward for I'm rolling against uh, Charlie Kuno. He's playing well, but only got 18 points last night, three goals or two goals too. Uh, half fours is Isaac Smith versus Jeremy Cameron. Oh, hopefully Isaac Smith has a fantastic game. Utility is Ollie Bynes against Matt Cruz, who got 104 points last night. The midfielders is Gaff versus Kerno, who got 50 points last night. Uh, still sideboard, got 55 points as a follower last night against Seb Ross, who um, he's a follower, I mean, doing right. Rory Lobb, he might, Seb Ross might actually get tagged, because he didn't do too well for tag last week. Um, Ruckman, oh, actually, I like to have taggers. Rory Lobb is a Ruckman. He's averaging 34, which is amazing me, because I don't think he's been doing that well. But obviously he has. Against Tom Bell and Chambers. Um, halfback is Hibbard. Hibbard against Zach Tui. It's the halfbacks. And the tacklers is Rory Sloan against Jack Graham, who I hope has a really bad game. So that's that there. That's those teams there. Who's going to win that one? Oh, I just want to see Coley not win at all. So I'm going for Falcons. So that's that one there. That's the, that's the, that's all the games. That's all five games. Um, I believe almost everyone has paid. One or two people still have to pay. So we'll do that. But other than that, good luck to everyone besides Dasha, although you already got the upper hand on me because my players are doing shit at the moment. So, cheers everyone. Bye-bye.